And one of the things that I think a guy will be confused about then is, well then how do you create a spark then? Because when you meet a woman, if there's no flirtation, a spark won't be created. Let me break it down for you. When the masculine and the feminine are present to one another, unobstructed, just present to one another, there's sexual energy flowing. If there's sexual energy flowing, no spark is needed. The sexual energy is the spark within itself. It's natural, it's not something that's created, it's something that's already there. When we let go and just allow ourselves to be there, that's what's present. I'm back in Madison, Wisconsin, and now this is more of a slow time for me. But as I continue on, I just want to share something with you. You may not believe me. You may feel like this is nonsense. You may feel like, Tony, you don't know what you're talking about. And I want you to feel all those things. I was never someone to save you from feeling those things. And I'm right when I say you don't need to flirt to get women. I am right when I say that. You've heard it everywhere. Every coach is saying it. Every person who's in the world of helping people understand dating is saying it. And I once believed it as well. I believe that you need to flirt to get women. That if you don't flirt, it's boring. That it'll just drag on and a girl will be like, uh, I don't want the guy to be around me because he's boring. He's not really saying anything, any interesting. He's not really making me feel anything, but he's nice. In many ways, Flirting is simply created so that the woman knows that the man is interested or the man knows that the woman is interested. And this is through touches, and the way eyes are given, the way something is said. These are all the ways and more that flirting is used to let the other person know I'm interested in you, but kinda in a way that's underneath the surface. Not really showing it verbatim, because to show it verbatim, it then wouldn't be flirting. And everyone has believed, and everyone still believes, still believes, everyone I've come across, that flirtation, if it's not used, that the interaction will be boring, that the girl will lose interest. And I tell you this now, this is not true. Anyone who tells you that flirting is needed, that you need to learn flirting, that when you and a woman come together, there's a getting to know, there's flirtation. The moment that they throw flirtation in there, is the moment that they can admit their ignorance to really understanding how energy flows between a man and a woman. I admitted my ignorance to myself because all the way up until earlier this summer, I thought to myself that flirting was needed. Now I stopped flirting as much as I used to in the past, but this summer, I'm sitting down and it just hits me. I don't know exactly from what situation it was from, but it hits me that I've been flirting for so many years and doing it and trying to show the girl that I'm interested. And it's not needed. 
I'm flirting and it's not needed. I've talked about the masculine and the feminine, but I haven't really been able to understand it until right now. When it came to me, I basically went, flirtation is not needed. And in that very moment, my entire way of being with new women that, I, that I'm interested in changed. It totally changed. So much to the point where I felt, do I even know how to really be in front of a woman and be truly just myself? Because this flirtation thing is still an act of trying. It still is. Can I truly be in front of a woman and just be myself? Being myself and trying has nothing to do with one another. If flirtation is an act of trying, that means that I actually haven't really been myself in front of women. Man, what a very, very hard moment for me. I remember sitting there in the restaurant that I always sit in in Budapest and just going, what does this mean now? Does this mean that I need to go out and start interacting with women and see like, like how have I been wrong all this time? It's no, I needed to flirt to see that flirtation is not needed. I needed to go down a path of removal within for me to see that flirtation is not needed in relation to women. That when I'm in front of a woman, the most important thing is simply being there with her. Totally there. Engaged and aware. Engaged in the sense of expressing myself, aware in the sense of allowing myself to be total space. But anything else besides that is added. And anything that's added will be an act of trying. Now I know that this sparks many, many questions. Things that I've even thought to myself right now before I did this video. And one of the things that I think a guy will be confused about then is, well then how do you create a spark then? Because when you meet a woman, if there's no flirtation, a spark won't be created. Let me break it down for you. When the masculine and the feminine are present to one another, unobstructed, just present to one another, there's sexual energy flowing. If there's sexual energy flowing, no spark is needed. The sexual energy is the spark within itself. It's natural, it's not something that's created, it's something that's already there. When we let go and just allow ourselves to be there, that's what's present. The spark that we want to create is because we feel that we are boring. That's the place that it's coming from. I am boring, I need to create a spark. Who I am is boring, what I talk about is boring. That's the place it's coming from. So of course you will look to add something. You will look to add, you know, maybe I could be more playfully sexual here. Or maybe I should talk about sex here. Like I've had some pupils say to me, hey, when do I bring up sex? And I'm like, you don't need to structure yourself like that. And we've talked about it. Or maybe coming back to ways that a boring person or someone who feels like they have boring conversation would try to make a spark, maybe I should tease her. Maybe I should be dismissive. Maybe I should play like 
I don't care. All these things that are just added so that they can seduce. How is flirtation valuable? Flirtation is valuable for the sake of seducing. That's it. Getting the girl. That's how. So a boring person, so someone who feels like they're boring or they talk about boring stuff, they'll say, you know what? I'm going to start to learn how to flirt and to say things that to try to get the girl off guard or try to be dismissive or tease her or do something that's bad boy-like. And in the act of doing that, they're trying to seduce the girl. Trying to get is if you put both of those together. They're trying to get the girl. That is the reason for flirtation. Showing that you're interested in someone does have nothing to do with flirtation. Flirtation actually has to do with showing and not showing to give the person tension, to make the person feel like you're there, you're not there. And people call it, I like, I don't like, push-pull. They call it being in both zones or whatever you may try to say. Flirtation isn't needed. Those who love seducing, those who love persuading, those who love the act of trying to get someone to the bedroom will love flirtation. We'll love it. But what if you tried something else? What if you try not trying to get the woman to the bedroom, but allowing yourself to be there with the girl? What if you just try just being there with the woman? What if you just allowed yourself to be there with the woman and express whatever it is you want to express? Not necessarily always meaning interest in her but interest in what she likes interest in how she says something interest in the way she said something what if it changed from trying to get so using flirtation to being there in front of the girl and allowing yourself to just express whatever it is you want to express moment to moment. When you do it like this, now you have something that's real. Now you have something that connects. Because people are always wondering, how do I have a real connection? It connects when both people connect. One of the great things about when a man walks up is that he can allow that to happen. He can shed away all the things before and just allow the connect. So how has this changed my way? How can this change your way? Is that you no longer are trying to get. You no longer are trying. You and the woman are able to come together in a certain way that you wouldn't be able to come together before. It's interesting now when I meet a woman and I can see the moments that if I flirted, it would turn into a seduction. I see these moments. It's interesting that if I flirted in that moment, it would turn into seduction. And I don't, of course, because I can see the moment, I can see what I could say, I see all that, 
and I don't allow myself to try. And what I noticed that happens is along the way of speaking to the girl, she starts to like me more. She starts to like me more without knowing why. I didn't do anything to try to seduce her. Not saying that women hate this, but I didn't do anything to try to seduce her. I was just there and expressing myself. And through that, she feels I like this person. He expresses himself. That's the feeling that goes through her. Just the act of me expressing myself is alluring to anybody that I'm in front of. Not saying that every woman is going to sleep with me because of that, but it is alluring. It's like when you see a kid and a kid is just being, not expressing, trying to seduce anything, but just being alluring. Because it's very alluring to just be that which you are. And I'll be speaking to her. And then, as we're there together, we just feel we like each other. Doesn't need to be said. I can say it. Sometimes I do, and that feels very nice when I do. But it's as innocent as if I say, I like you. It's as innocent as if I say anything b besides I like you, like you're pretty or you're beautiful or wow, your body looks great. It's as innocent as each other, alluring because it has no need behind it, no trying behind it, no seduction involved, no flirting needed. It's so different when you start to do that. When you're in front of a woman and seduction leaves or flirtation leaves. It's so interesting because you start to see them for who they are. You start to notice the times where they feel uncomfortable. You start to notice the times where they feel like they don't know what to do, that they're just trying to look for fun, that they are nervous. You start to see them for the way they really are. You start to see that they enjoy mingling, they enjoy sex, they enjoy many different things, but it's all innocent though. It's no longer this grandiose thing that we try to make it as men. It's no longer grandiose. It's so crazy that we've expanded flirtation so big that without it, we feel like there's no chance. That a seduction is need that for a seduction to happen, flirtation is needed. And you're absolutely right. For a seduction to happen, flirtation is needed. For a seduction to happen. But you don't need to seduce to get women. Because seducing is still an act of trying. It's so crazy that you start to think like, well then, what are you trying to say? Just stand in front of a girl and just be yourself? That's exactly what I'm saying. What I'm also saying, it is okay to want her. That's what I'm saying as well. It is okay as you guys are there to want to be closer and to be closer and to be closer and to want to explore each other physically as it arises within the space. It's so crazy because you think like, well, what about intentionality? What about 
flirtation and seduction. What about the texting and all these things? And I just go, yes. These are the things that a person may try to really break down and see the insight into so many different things about. But I say to you, when a man and woman meets, flirtation is not needed because sexual energy is already flowing. And because the sexual energy is already flowing, the act of trying is also not needed. Because without your effort, the energy is there. The flow between you and the woman is there. Without your effort. If it's obstruct, unobstructed, it'll be beautiful. If it's unobstructed, which means that a person isn't holding themselves back, the man isn't holding himself back. The woman isn't holding her, herself back, which is, of course, the dating world that we live in, where people are holding themselves back until they know for sure. If these holding themselves back is not there, and they just are there like I like you, how two people get when they get drunk, when they just don't have anything to hold back anymore, that is what I mean. When two people are no longer blocked by anything and are just there in front of each other, why do you think a man and a woman can go home at night and feel okay about it, but in the day can feel different about it. Cannot know that it's possible. It's because once everything fall away, it's there. The sexual energy flow is there. Once everything fall away. So I say to you, as someone who has been around women my whole life and continue to be around women that is not needed. That you can go down the journey with the woman to the bedroom without it being there. Will the woman sometimes go into it or probably even the whole time? Yes. But I'm saying from your point of view, from where you are, you don't need it actually. And many women don't know that this is possible. They don't know. Because all the dating experts and everybody say that you need to learn how to flirt. You know, can flirt, you know, she can do like this and the guy can be there and he can like play like he's like kind of disinterested to give her chasing more. And all of this is simply because we want fantasy. We want the fantasy experience because we feel like once we have the fantasy experience, once we can be there and we can have all these things happening, there can be an explosion at the end. And this is why men come too quick as well, which is something we can get into another time. It's because there's so much waiting for the explosion to happen. So much. That they weren't unobstructed when they were there. So an explosion will happen. An explosion, a lot of times, is really quick because he was trying to seduce, that he was trying to flirt. And there's so much tension and stuff build up that you just feel so turned on and everything because you're like, That's just, I've just been waiting to let go. That when it's time, it feels like there's just so much. And one may say, well, isn't the pleasure better? Isn't these things better? No, it's actually not. It may feel like it's better, because there is a process of releasing as you two come together in the bedroom. And that releasing process together feels like, okay, oh, come on, God, is, I just want this. That's why, because there's so much like that. But imagine if it wasn't so much of this and you, do, and you two just were there getting to know each other, allowing each other to be there. And my man, <laughs> one of the things that I also forgot to say is, when you and the woman are there and the sexual energy is flowing, it actually will allow this flirtation thing to come out naturally. The woman will start to do things like, why are you looking at me like that? And, you know, things like this. Just the feminine as it goes through the resistance and giving in, and the resistance and giving in that the feminine goes through. That natural resistance in giving in is juicy. It is. And a woman will eventually give in because she has no choice. 
This is not every single woman. I'm, course, I'm of course talking about the woman who's in front of you and who likes you. That's what I'm talking about. Flirtation is not needed.